Healthcare delivery in the United States is changing rapidly, and consumers, payers, and providers need to re-educate themselves to cope with these changes. All physicians, especially primary care physicians, are in the forefront of these events. Many need new knowledge and skills as they transition from small, independent, traditional practices to larger, integrated care delivery models that emphasize teamwork and collaboration across the care continuum. Healthcare delivery organizations, whether they are single or multi-specialty medical groups, hospitals, or integrated delivery systems, have recognized the value physicians add to leadership and management teams. However, they are often disappointed as they begin a search for physicians with strong interpersonal and communication skills. Someone who understands the different but complementary contributions of leaders and managers who can manage change and conflict constructively, or lead physicians and non-physician caregivers in providing cost-effective, high-quality care to satisfied consumers. The same organizations are seeking physicians who understand how to care for a diverse mix of patients, ranging from a well-informed, healthy person seeking to maintain or enhance their well-being to the seriously ill individual with multiple conditions and comorbidities. In order to maximize their ability to achieve these objectives, physicians must understand the principles of population-based healthcare management, how to continuously improve care processes and outcomes, the enabling value of clinical informatics, and how to work in partnership with other team members or collaborators across the care continuum. Recognizing these changes and anticipating the need for physicians to acquire new knowledge and skills, healthcare management faculty in the Naveen Jindal School of Management at the University of Texas at Dallas have identified and organized the requisite knowledge and skills physicians need to enhance their ability to provide health and wellness services as well as illness care to an increasing number of current and new patients. The Healthcare Leadership and Management Program for Physicians is a non-degree educational experience that provides a certificate of participation upon successful completion. The program was designed to meet the needs of early to mid-career practicing physicians seeking leadership and management education, but not ready to commit the time and expense required to obtain a graduate degree in healthcare management or business administration. In order to accommodate the busy professional and personal lives of practicing physicians, course content is provided in an asynchronous online manner utilizing the university's e-learning platform. Enrolled students are granted a net ID and password that allows them to participate in the course from any site with wireless access. This permits them to choose when and where they attend class, from their home, office, or other convenient location. Professionally produced content videos are recorded in the Naveen Jindal School of Management by experienced healthcare management faculty led by the program director, Dr. Michael Deegan. Dr. Deegan has a medical degree and a doctorate in management. His 35 plus year career in academic, group practice and complex healthcare delivery settings as a provider and physician executive allow him to integrate practical experience with scholarly material, creating a unique blend for the program. The content videos are supplemented with videos from recognized experts, reading assignments from the Harvard Business Review and other sources, recommended text, and other materials. Students progress through the course at regular intervals as part of a learning cohort. This format supports creation of a virtual learning community where views are exchanged regarding a realistic case study in which participants post responses to aspects of the case online creating threaded discussions. Course faculty and fellow students can read and comment on everyone's contributions, making this interactive shared learning experience one of the highlights of the program. The course is divided into three sections. The first section focuses on interpersonal and communication skills important for a successful transition as healthcare delivery transforms into a consumer-focused, team-oriented care model. You ask periodically and you act on the feedback you receive in a constructive way so that those people you work closely with see that their feedback has been incorporated and that you are working to modify your behavior uh, in regard to, to the, how you interact with them. And then if you have work to be done in this area, and all of us do to a greater or lesser extent, 
and you'd like to make progress, who could I rely on to give me constructive feedback uh, that is non-threatening and positive in nature so that they could become my uh, coach? And, and they typically have a, a significant impact on both parties. Perhaps uh, that impact falls unevenly uh, on the two parties, but nonetheless, it, it is an important conversation for both parties or for several parties if there are more than two of you uh, in the conversation. So stakes are high, opinions vary, emotions run, run strong. That, those characteristics define a crucial conversation. Section 2, Leading and Managing in an Interdependent World, addresses three critical leadership and management subjects. What are the complementary roles and responsibilities of leaders, managers, and followers? How to constructively manage change in a world of continuous turmoil? And conflict and negotiation, frequent challenges in a rapidly changing environment. We've already identified that you're gonna have more conflict as you go through this change. So realize it and let it emerge and deal with it as it emerges. And then you've had past norms but maybe now you need to change those norms. So for example, going back to this idea of a, a team care model versus a traditional uh, physician-centric uh, hierarchical model, perhaps with a medical assistant or a nurse supporting him or her, now you might have four, five, six people on the care team uh, sharing uh, different responsibilities. So the norms for what you expect of each of those people are going to change. And then once you've made that interpretation, then you're going to have to move toward action. There's going to have to be an intervention, and you move through that in a series of steps, whatever it happens to be, to, to effect the change that you perceive to be desirable. And while that's going on, you're going to begin observing again. So it's this continuous iterative cycle of, of observing and interpreting and intervening as you move forward. The final section, providing value-based care for individuals and groups, represents a directional change where the insights and lessons acquired in the first six units are blended with new information directed toward an ambulatory practice environment. And then I want to move to a practice-based population health focus and this is where we're going to spend uh, the, the remainder of our time in this segment. Here we're talking about the health and wellness, acute care, chronic uh, non-curative care, and end-of-life care uh, for the patients within a particular practice that make up a population in that practice. There are three domains of critical competencies for effective teamwork in healthcare. First of all, their, their teamwork related knowledge. Now I'm not talking about how to do something, a procedure, I'm talking about how they work together, the skills and behaviors as a member of that team working in harmony and with efficiency relative to the other members of the team. The course was prepared for early to mid-career practicing physicians. However, the faculty who designed, developed, and delivered the program and participants who successfully completed it agreed the content would benefit a large percentage of the physician community, even those who have earned a graduate degree in healthcare management or business. The primary goal of the program is to aid physicians in making a successful transition and achieving a competitive advantage in the rapidly changing healthcare delivery and financing environment. The online asynchronous design of the program accommodates the active life of practicing physicians and allows them to choose when and where they go to class. The variety of content presentation formats, video, online readings, case studies, and active class participation through online threaded discussions maintains interest and creates a virtual learning community for participants and faculty to exchange insights. Participants responding to periodic course surveys consistently award the program's content videos, online reading selections, and case studies high scores medical groups, hospitals, and integrated delivery systems. 
especially if they are engaged in aligning and integrating acquired physician practices or plan to participate in risk-based population health management ventures such as an accountable care organization, will benefit by enrolling key physicians in the program. These institutions should also explore options to combine the online learning experience with periodic face-to-face -face gatherings of participating physicians, a program faculty member, and organizational leaders. The latter format allows customization of content with organizational priorities and a relationship-building opportunity for all.